sorry, that's what the gym. And I finally went to the cinema today, um, and I watched the film with Tenet, so I'll be doing a movie review for that. I didn't have it planned I was going to watch this film, um, or even do a movie review on it yet. Um, I didn't even know if I was ever going to be watching the film. And I'm doing videos every Tuesday now, if I haven't mentioned it um, before, it's because um, I'm, I'm back in college, and I don't go to college on Tuesdays, so Tuesdays is a good day for me to do the videos. Um, Anyway, let's get started. I've got my notes on my phone as well, in case I miss out on anything. Um, and it's only been about an hour ago I just finished watching the film. So I've got back, quickly put the things on notes, and let's get started. So I thought the characters were great, mainly with the main protagonist, played by um, John David Washington. And uh, the antagonist I thought was very compelling and a very intimidating villain. I actually really liked him as the bad guy. Um... And he was played by um, Kenneth Brenner, I think that's how you say his surname. Um, so yeah, it was quite good that he was the villain. I thought he was quite a good villain. Um, and Robert Pat Patterson's character, Neil, I actually really liked him as a character. I thought he was really fun. Um, and I thought the action was fun and enjoyable. And for the majority of the action, it is shot in a unique and a distinctive way from other films. And um, I think that that's what's so good about... Um, Christopher Nolan, this is, he, he makes the action very unique compared to other films for a lot of his films, like it's the same for Inception um, and I thought the score for the film was very good and it made, and it, you know, it really suited the film as well um, and I thought the cast was very good you know, with John David Washington you know, Robert, Robert Patterson, Kenneth Branagh but he also had characters um, played by Michael Caine in the film and someone from yesterday um, I was quite surprised to see him in the film. There are a few jokes in the film. They're not like laugh out moments, but they, they they still do make you chuckle. And you know it does make the film a little bit less serious. Um, and that's basically all I've got to say for the good, um, the bad. The story is very hard and confusing to follow at times, as well as a bit complicated. So um, you know you're going to be sat there, you know, um, just thinking you know, about what, what's really going on, because it is very confusing. And I feel like the first hour is the most confusing part, in my opinion. Um, and I thought the audio was too loud, but I think that's the case for a lot of Christopher Nolan films, is that the audio is a bit too loud. Um, but that, that's all I've got to say for this film. Um, I, I overall had really had um, you know, a fun time watching Tenet, and I rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, it says here I'd recommend it for people who are a fan of Christopher Nolan films. That is definitely correct. And um, you know, if if you're not a big fan of of Christopher Nolan films, just watch the trailer and see what you think. Um, there are a couple of things I've not put on here that maybe that I'm going to mention. Um, and what the source says that you know, um, it's it's also recommended for people who like confusing mu movies. Um, because I'm not someone who's the biggest fan of confusing movies in my opinion. Um, the film's 12A, and it should be a 15, because I feel like there's just a lot of violence, and I feel like just, you know, it just doesn't feel like a 12A. It really feels like a 15. I feel like the reason why they made it a 12A is so more people would see it, but I honestly think a 15 would have been better, in my opinion. Um, but I think, I think that's all I've pretty much got to mention for the movie review. Um, I did watch one movie review, just, you know watched a few minutes of it before I did this movie review, and I think he mentioned something that I, I agreed what he mentioned about, but to be honest, I can't remember at this point in time, but I thought, um, oh yeah, that that's it, and I was thinking about this after the end, the end of the film anyway, I was thinking that it had a really good concept, it really did have a really good concept, but I don't think it was executed, I, I think it was executed very good, but I don't think it was executed great, in my opinion. But I did think it was a very good film, and that's why I rated it a 7.5 out of 10. And anyway, that's all I've got to say for this movie review, Tenet. It's really good that I'm going back to the cinema now. Um, obviously, when you go, you know, um, wear a mask, you know, stay two metres apart, you know, do do all the, the COVID rules you're meant to. Um, please, please follow them when you're going into the cinema. Um... And yeah, that's all I'm going to say for this movie re review. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Christopher Nolan stuff, but I did really, I did enjoy this film quite a bit. 
But anyway, thank you for watching. Please forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be the invention of lying movie review. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.